This isn't an empty carton package. So what is it? It could be a table, or a bench, or paper towels, or a pallet. It can be recycled, and its component parts, paper, polymer, and aluminium, can get a new life as a range of useful products. This means less litter, less demand for the world's finite resources, and lower climate impact. Recycling contributes to a low-carbon circular economy by keeping valuable materials in use. On average, more than 70% of our packaging material is made from long, strong paper fibres from a renewable and well-managed source, trees. We ensure that 100% of the paperboard in our packages comes from sustainably managed, fully traceable Forest Stewardship Council certified forests and other controlled sources. The fibres can be recycled several times over and become new paper products. And the thin layers of polyethylene and aluminium that keep the juice or milk protected and safe can also be used in new products like roof tiles or outdoor furniture. Over 50 billion carton packages were recycled in 2020 around the world. And now in Turkey, thanks to our partnership with KMK Paper, all the components of our carton packages can be recycled and turned into new products. Recycling and circularity are must-have requirements of packaging industry. A circular economy depends on sustainable recycling value chains, which ensure the cartons are collected, sorted, and recycled within a widespread infrastructure. At Tetra Pak, we take a holistic value chain approach to recycling. This means considering everything from consumer awareness in collection and sorting infrastructure to developing end products that bring recycled materials into our daily lives. As part of our efforts to improve the recycling infrastructure in Turkey, we are working to improve all stages of the recycling value chain to ensure that empty carton packages are regained. In 2020, KNK Paper started up its new polyol recycling plant, which is the first of its kind in Turkey. KMK Paper's Karamamaraş recycling plant currently processes over 1.5 million carton beverage packages a day, turning them into new raw materials. It is expected to pave the way for other industries and the waste sector to engage in new collaborations for the recycling of carton packages. The recycling process goes like this. Once sorted from other recyclables, carton packages are mixed with water in a machine called a pulper. The movement of this blender-like machine separates the high-quality paperboard fibres from the layers of polyethylene and aluminium. The fibres are moved to the next steps in the production line, where they are conditioned and converted into a variety of high-quality, high-strength products like cardboard boxes, greyboard, gypsum board paper and cardboard gussets. The mixture of polyethylene and aluminium, meanwhile, exit the pulper separately to be fed into another line. There they are cleaned and then melted. This is then extruded into long spaghetti-like strands, before being made into granules that can be used for a wide range of new products, from pallets and containers, to playground equipment, benches and sun lounges. Now, with the addition of polyol granule production facility in our Kahramanmaraş plant, we are glad to be able to say that we aim to keep our focus on converting all components of the carton package into valuable end products. We believe the future of carton recycling in Turkey shines bright and through strong partnership we look forward to increasing recycled carton contents in our product. So, thanks to the high quality and largely renewable materials used in Tetra Pak packaging and to investments in Turkey's recycling infrastructure, this really isn't an empty package. It's a carton full of possibilities.